I think a lot of you are probably looking at this machine and say, is it really worth going up $200 to the base M2 all new MacBook Air? Well, let's find out. Uh, we've got some M2 MacBook Airs in today. I've got silver, starlight, space gray with me. I'm so excited. I've never seen this design before. And from what we can see, it looks insane. I don't think that was supposed to happen. <laughs> All right, let's take her out of the box. This is so many years in the making. We've got the MacBook Air. And inside, guys, it's the usual stuff we always have. The quick start materials, a little power brick, a nice braided and color matched cable, which I do actually appreciate. First up, space gray. We've seen this color a million times, but holy sh this is a thin laptop. I mean, you can see straight up how thin this MacBook is. This is ridiculous. I actually feel like this is an iPad. Next up is silver, same M2 style. This is the eight gigabyte 512 model though. So a little bit extra storage. Here's silver. It already looks so good. Here it is. Wow. That's a slick machine, man. Man, this looks so good. This is such a cool shot. Look at that map. <laughs> and finally, we've got Starlight, which is, it's like a really light gold, but I'm curious to see how it's changed because we had straight up gold on the last MacBook Air. This is like a, a very light interpolation of that. You can kind of see it bleed through the packaging here. Yeah, it's super light. I mean, honest to God, the comparison between this and the silver one, it's not that different. I, I really thought it'd be more dramatic. I mean, you can see it's like slightly tanner. All right, I'm gonna spend some time setting these up and then we're gonna get into the camera, the mics, the battery, the display, a full comparison to the M1. Let's go. Now, of course, one of the first apps I'm installing on this M2 MacBook Air and on all of my new Macs, including the Mac Studio behind me, my MacBook Pro is Clean My Mac X, who actually sponsored today's video. Clean My Mac X is of course, most well known for Smart Scan, which clears up logs and caches that you didn't even know existed to give you back space on your computer, but they also just recently added this insane menu feature that adds five additional metrics that weren't there before. You've got protection monitoring front and center to make sure Clean My Mac X has not discovered any malware, storage and a hard drive monitoring to keep track of what's actually on your computer. CPU monitoring is so cool. It shows the load on the CPU in real time. And that's the same with RAM monitoring as well, where it shows you what's happening with your RAM so you know what apps are using the most. And if you're on a MacBook, you get to look at your battery statistics as well. How many charge cycles, how long it will take your battery to charge. It is so cool. Clean my Mac X, I'm gonna say it, it's the go. Check them out down below. You can try it today for free using my link and make sure your Mac, whether it's a year old, 10 years old, or you just got it today is always running at peak performance. All right, guys, so we're all set up. Here are the new M2 MacBook Airs. These are insane, okay? Like I showed you guys at the intro, they are incredibly thin, but actually starting to use them and especially to look at the new colors, they're really nice. I mean, don't get me wrong, the space gray and the silver, they look really good on here, but there's something about Starlight that just makes it feel like an actually new MacBook. It's a very light champagne gold, but it's a totally different color than the gold that we had on the last MacBook Air. And speaking of that old MacBook Air, I've got it right here. This is the M1, starts at $9.99 and Apple still sells it. I think a lot of you are probably looking at this machine and say, is it really worth going up $200 to the base M2? all new MacBook Air and well, Let's find out. So obviously the new MacBook Air with M2, it looks a lot different. And I have to say, although the tapered design has aged incredibly well, uh, the tapered design didn't change on the MacBook Air until now. The new M2 version takes an insane amount of inspiration from the new MacBook Pros that I absolutely love. But considering how lightweight this M2 MacBook Air is, it also feels unique. I mean, like I, I said, it's light. Is this giving you anxiety? Me too. I have to say, it's close, right? Like this design of the M1 is not bad. It's just slightly heavier and older where this is the new one. I mean, obviously I like this better. But that sense of newness also extends on the inside when you open it up. I mean, immediately, whoa, there's a notch on the new screen, which is also 13.6 inches instead of 13.3 on the older MacBook Air. And the keyboard has a couple of changes as well. Mainly that the function row is a full size. I know that sounds small, but I'm telling you guys, it is so nice to have a full touch ID key, to have a massive escape key. It makes using the laptop so much better. Apple's just on this insane roll with the MacBooks lately. I mean. 
the new design is 12 out of 10. It's so good. It's everything I've ever wanted. And it's a little bit lighter. It's 1.7 versus 1.8 pounds. They even did that. So the MacBook Air stays true to the Air name. All right, let's dive a little bit deeper now, starting with the screen. What's physically different between these? I mean, they're both LCD panels, so the black levels aren't insane. It's not gonna be as good as the MacBook Pro, but the new M2 does get a little bit brighter. So if you're like me and you like bright, now, really, if you just use your MacBook in the sun a lot, 100 nits of brightness isn't a huge change. And sitting here inside, I can't tell the difference between these, but it does get slightly brighter. The notch at the top, I'm sure, is going to be a hit. Um, I know how you guys feel about that, and I know some of you might think, oh, is he memeing? Does he really mean it when I, when I say I love it? I do. Like, I genuinely love the notch. I know it's a little weird, but it's something that you look at for a day, and then you're like, wait, I get more screen and less bezel. That's a super win. But wait, we're not done with the screens. Let's talk about the webcams on here because we finally have a 1080p webcam on the M2 MacBook. I never thought I would see this day. Mama, we made it. And I got to say right here on the M2, yeah, it's 100% better. It is a really, really good upgrade because what you're also hearing now is the new microphone setup as well. Now switching over, that was kind of cool, to the 720p and the old microphone setup on the M1 MacBook Air. I mean, listen, it's barely passable. The webcams have long been obviously problematic on the Mac books and it's a significant upgrade. Like if you are doing any serious calling or long form communication on your MacBook Air, you want the new one. It's just not even close. It is significantly better. We actually just listened back to the microphones on that video we shot. And for me, the M2 MacBook Air sounds so much more dynamic where my voice is really stuffy on the old MacBook. It, it sounds okay. It, I really think that the M2 shines in the microphone department. Okay, we've had our moment. Let's move on to the speakers because this is something I've heard a lot lot of people not talking about actually. All right guys, I've got a sick beat pulled up here. Okay, second track we just listened to. I I don't even know if it's better quality. I think it's just two totally different sound profiles. I have a feeling on the inside, they move the speakers around and that's why it sounds different. I mean, they both get pretty muddy when you turn them up at 100%, right? Like this test is to really like put the most chaos into things. I mean, you're not gonna be listening above 50% volume most of the time. In which, I mean, it's, it's good, right? Like I think, Especially at 50%, I like the sound of the M2 better. Now my boy holding the camera right now, he says he likes the louder, little sharper profile of the old MacBook Air. Neither are bad. I could just see how if you compare them side by side, some people could say the old MacBook sounds better. To me, well, the new MacBook, I would prefer, but if you want like the loudest speakers, it is kind of interesting that the old one gets a little bit louder. What about the keyboards? Do they feel any different when you type? Hey guys, what's up? It's Sam here. It's very nice, all right? Obviously they fixed the Mac keyboards a while ago, and I have to say it, it does feel really nice. Going back to the old one, I wouldn't say there's a discernible difference other than the fact that it just feels way better to have a full-size function row. Oh, and I should also probably mention the battery life on the M2. It's been really strong so far. At full transparency, I haven't had a week or months to test it to tell you, but Apple claims the same 18 hours as the M1 MacBook Air, and we've been using this pretty heavily. It was near 80, 90% we got it. It's only down to 60%. Oh, and keep in mind, there's just a physically large battery in the M2 MacBook Air as well. I don't think it's going to mean you get better battery life in the M1 because the M2 chip is a little bit more powerful and draws more energy, but I've noticed really good battery life so far. So initial impressions, battery life is just as good as before. Okay, so that's all the big stuff for the MacBook Air, right? I wanted to focus on the core principles of using a computer before I got into the big old nerd stuff like the SSD speed and other controversies. Just because fundamentally, like I believe the M2 MacBook Air is a really good computer, but keep in mind if you do go for the base model. This is the $1,200 version with the 256 gigabyte SSD. Well, it is a little bit slower than even the M1 base model. So to illustrate this for you, I ran the Blackmagic SSD test. You can see all well, the write, it's pretty close. Like the old computer still does have a slightly better write speed. The read speed is almost double, if not exactly double actually in this case on the old computer. Why in the world would Apple put a slower SSD in a new computer than the old one? Here's why. They're using a single storage chip instead of 
of two. It looks like this on the inside. It's also a problem in the M2 MacBook Pro. But what does it actually mean? I've got a hard drive. I'm gonna put data on both of these and I'm gonna tell you guys if I can notice a difference. If this would actually impact me on the new computer to have a slower drive, again, only on the base model, you're not gonna experience this on the other MacBook Pros. So I got my hard drive right here. I'm gonna plug in to the M1 and I've got a couple files on here. It's like 45 gigs almost exactly of my mixtape. I'm gonna drop it here and it downloads and you can see the estimated time it's preparing to copy. It says about two minutes. A few moments later. All right, so we just finished two minutes, 10 seconds for the M1 that was transferring in like 45 gigs of files. Next up, let's grab the brand new M2 MacBook Air. Statistically, this should be noticeably slower, but let's find out. We've got this folder right here. Let's drag it into my downloads. Two very boring minutes later. Okay, so already it's past the M1, right? It's about 10 seconds slower, we're gonna call it. Okay, so I mean, I don't know, 15 seconds slower. I mean, obviously that's gonna be accentuated to where if you're transferring 200 gigabytes at once, that'd probably be around a minute of a delay. It's not a huge deal. It's definitely not a case where I'd be like, don't get the M2 MacBook Air for all the good things. But it's like, I don't know, if you need a pro workload, if you're gonna be somebody that's watching this part in the video that cares about your SSD speed, you're probably not gonna get the MacBook Air in the first place. And finally, I just wanna open up a bunch of apps to see how fast it goes and see if there's any noticeable lag. I mean, this is the M1 chip, right? On the old MacBook and it's pretty fast. I mean, I'm, I'm having a hard time keeping up with this and I can go in all my programs instantaneously. I mean, that, that was the benefit of the M1, right? It's like, it was so, so fast. I had one spinning emoji. I don't know. It seems pretty fast in the M1. Now on the M2, let's do the same thing. And, um, I don't know, looks pretty much the exact same speed. I mean, it, it actually seems maybe slightly faster. If I go in here to my screensaver, there wasn't that uh, that beach ball on here. And these have the exact same amount of storage on both of these. We just did the SSD test. I, I don't know, the M2 is quick. I know that there's probably gonna be videos that come out that show in some other ways the M2 because of the SSD chip and RAM situation is slightly slower. I don't know, man. I just really like the computer. So what's the final verdict on these, right? We saw there are some differences. We saw the speakers are kind of similar with different profiles. The SSDs are better on the old computer, but everything else from the display to the keyboard to the cameras to the microphones, uh, it's, it's all better um, on the M2 MacBook Air. Not to mention that the design is stunning with a better headphone jack and MagSafe. For me, it would be a no-brainer if it was the M1 or the M2 to spend a little bit extra money to get this model. That's not to say though that the M1 MacBook Air is bad. I still think value-wise, this is the best value of any computer on the market. Like the M1 MacBook Air just continues to be ridiculously good. But for somebody like me that cares about a lot of the small stuff and those nice quality of life upgrades, I would personally go with the M2. But I'm not because neither of these are for me, I'm, an, I'm a MacBook Pro boy. So um, I love these and I, I want one. It's just, I, I'm gonna keep using the MacBook Pro. But these are really good. Like, bro, how could, come on, look at this. Be happy, this is the coolest laptop ever. Look at this, it's 1.7 pounds. Thanks, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for, you can see the sun came out. I've been Sam, hope you're doing well. And I'll see you cool cats in my next video. Peace.